MJ here, aka Blade Mama. First off, I wanted to do a quick apology to those of you who commented on a couple of my last videos and I never responded. Please don't find me rude. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I was having YouTube technical difficulties and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, <laughs> I still have two SHOT Show videos to put up. I know what you're thinking. Lame. At this point, who cares? The big guys, all the other big YouTube people interviewed everybody who mattered and that's all that we care about. Well, they took time at their busy SHOT Show schedule to talk to me. So please stay tuned for that. They should be up in the next couple days. Um, one of them is Mr. Andy Tran, the maker of the Tops Tahoma, talking about his new Tops knife. I don't think he has a name for it yet. If he does, I totally missed that, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't named it yet. Um, total sweetheart. I got fangirl on him. Um, we filmed a couple times. Hopefully you can't tell. Please don't tell me he said that because it's super embarrassing and I'm pretty sure he's not subscribed to me, so he wouldn't know that unless some of you went over and told him, so you better not. Better keep it quiet better lock it up um, the other person is mr. Darren C Roy talking about his Sangrador knife and CRKT did their own rendition of his knife part of the forge by war series this guy is an American badass I got to hang out with him at shot show at a shot show event and salt of the earth totally adorbs this man so please stay tuned for that but today we are not here to talk about that we are talk here to talk about a new buoy knife that I got in by Mr. If you can see that there, RG Underground. He sent me a beautiful Bowie knife and told me, dull, beat the hell out of it. So I did just that. But I am showing you a box because I am madly impressed by this here. I'm a huge Elvis fan and he stamped up um, the box with Elvis stamps. That is so cool. Thank you very, 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 very much. Um, I was so stoked about it. I completely forgot about the package, the knife itself. Um, good job. Kudos to you. Um, but we are here to talk about this beautiful Bowie knife. You can see that sh leather sheath there. It is a uh, tip down carry. Um, I put it on the side of my shorts when I was wearing them. It pretty much took up the full length, I don't know if you can see there, of my leg, but it is a cool knife. So let's go over some of the sex specs before we see some of the testing, shall we? Okay, the overall length is 16 and 5 8 inches. The blade length is 10 and 5 8 inches. You can see there. It does have a beautiful mirror polish finish, or it did. As you can tell now, see right there, it is a little scratched up. I did put some flitz cleaner on it, and it did look a lot nicer when I got it. But hey, a happy knife is a used knife. It is full tang. You can see there. And it is a 440C stainless steel, which it must have had a good heat treat because I did beat the crap out of it. I know there are some fellow YouTubers that do better beat the crap out of testing. And I was debating on whether I should send it to them. So if you're interested, please email me or DM me on Instagram. Back to the specs. It is nicker silver polished, the pommel, all the way up to the guard and this engraving plate. It is made by Hissing Crane Knives. Um, I think they've only made a couple of fixed blades. They're pretty much known for their seasonal um, knives. They do a holiday Halloween and a holiday Christmas version every year. I absolutely adore their Halloween knives that they come out with. They're really cool scales. They change every year. Um, but let's check out all the coverage on testing, shall we? <laughs>
now to the fun stuff. So, batoning didn't work very well, but what good is testing if you don't do it, right? Thank you, Are You Underground? It was fun. I got a bit carried away, but I did it. So, knives and kisses for you all. May the force be with you. Rock on!